Welcome to Advent Soundbites, a four-week segment taking you through some popular and unknown hymns that are attributed to the Advent season. And my name is Leslie from the Music Ministry, and this week we'll be discussing and reflecting on Veni, Veni, Emmanuel. Latin for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, the expressive nature of this piece is really, really unique. This is written by Zoltan Kodai, a Hungarian composer, and it's based off the O antiphons, where each of the antiphons is a name of Christ and are also reflected in this piece, Veni, Veni, Emmanuel. And normally, the O antiphons are said from 17 to 23rd December during Vespers, and they are O Sapientia, O Adonai, O Radix Iese, O Clavis Davidica, O Oriens, O Rex Gentium, and O Emmanuel. This unique piece is the axiom of compositional literature on how the music flows in relation to the text's analysis. For each verse, the key changes, showing a depiction and gradual saw and descent of each of the O Antiphon story. Working hand in hand, the way that the composer also creates the dynamic of going louder and softer shows the highlights of the piece. Furthermore, the enunciation of the verses at the start and at the very end are really key, in a sense when the composer has ended the stanza in such a distinct dissonant chord, all depicting the hooking and evangelizing of the awaiting and coming forth in the end. Gaude, Gaude, Emmanuel Nasetur Protei Israel. So I'd like to introduce the song Veni Veni Emmanuel. So Veni Veni Emmanuel means Come Come Emmanuel in Latin, where we welcome for the coming of Jesus Christ. Emmanuel is a sign that God will protect the house of David. So in the Old Testament, it's more of a sign of God's protection, where in the Gospel, it defined as the birth of the Messiah in the person of Jesus. This term is also very well known where the virgin shall conceive your child, and the child shall name Emmanuel. God is with us. I actually get to know that this song existed long, long ago, and it actually has been there since like 300 years ago and is popular during the Advent, where we are commemorating for the coming of Lord Jesus Christ. This song has a unique melody, which sometimes gives me chills. And the opening of these songs, where we are in the state of Advent longing, that Jesus has come before and now God is with us. This, this takes us into a mind of all Israel, where we are welcoming for the coming of the Messiah. And this longing goes beyond the time, up until now, by voicing and yearning for the coming of Jesus Christ. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. This verse has a powerful burst of joy in the refrain, and to my mind, which is just perfect, it shows the mystery and the wonder of us living in a sorrowful and yet always rejoicing. Then we will find the gladness of joy where the sorrow and scything will flee away. So I don't, have, I don't have to be afraid as he will come to bring good news and bring great joy. The promise will shine us through the time and we may turn away from darkness. O come thou wrote Jesse, where a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse and a branch of his root will bear fruit. This come as a sign of hope, bringing us a full of hope and lasting peace. Uh, what I would like to say is, let us be joyful and be glad, because God is with us. So are we ready for the coming of Jesus Christ? <laughs> 